So we're a, a month of the NFL seasons in the books, and there's some a little bit of panic setting in. People are freaking out, like in Dallas. So the question is one through zero through ten. Zero, no panic. Ten, grab the life preservers. Joy, panic meter. Here we go. What is your panic meter at for the Atlanta Falcons? I would say panic meter for the Atlanta Falcons is a nine. They're 0-3 despite scoring 90 points. So their offense is humming, (laughs) and they can't win. Also, Dan Quinn is a losing record. Is he close to losing the locker room? They're the first team in NFL history to lose back-to-back games while leading by over 15 points, 15-plus points in the fourth. So they're capable but blowing games. I think he's got probably two more games left, and he's done. What's your panic meter at for the Dallas Cowboys? I would say very low. I would put it at four because I don't think they've looked particularly well coached. The good news is all three games have been one possession. Losing at Seattle and to the Rams is not the end of the world. They, they're tied for the NFC East division lead. Dak is healthy and playing pretty well. They have the best total offense in the NFL. And I do think there's some nice wins coming up in the schedule. What's your panic meter at for the Denver Broncos? Uh, that's a little more panic. I'd say a six. Vaughn Miller's out, may not return until December. They're, they've used three quarterbacks, so it's a carousel. That's never good unless you're a kid. All <laughs> other carousels are bad. Drew Locke has played, Jeff Driscoll, Brett Rippon. Um, so when, once you don't know who's going to be quarterback, and I also think you're playing for a wild card in that division anyway, Kansas City's going to win it. So that is problematic to start. What's your panic meter at for the Houston Texans? I would say it's even worse. I would say that's a seven. First of all, they're the only NFL team that has not forced a turnover. That's a problem, meaning you can't get people off the field. Deshaun's sitting on the bench. Uh, They can't run the football, and uh, they don't stop the run. They're worst in the NFL in rushing defense, and I think they have the second-worst rushing offense. So, again, you're talking about here's the good news. The reason they're not higher is him, Deshaun Watson. And, you know, there's hope. They do have some nice individual players. But it's getting, it's getting to be panic time. What's your panic meter for the L.A. Chargers? It would be a little bit less. I would say a six. Here's where I'll defend them. Everybody's hurt. Derwin James, Chris Harris, Mike Williams, Brian Beluga, Melvin Ingram, all out. Here's the problem. Uh, you got a young quarterback in a division where you've got Derek Carr and Patrick Mahomes. So you could look up. Herbert played pretty well, but you could look up and find yourself four games out of first and three games out of the playoffs here if the Raiders can turn it around and play any defense. So you got some injuries, and you got a young quarterback who's supposed to lead you out of them. That's tough. How about the Minnesota Vikings? That's even more worrisome. Seven. Um, Mike Zimmer's a great defensive coach, and they have the second fewest sacks by any team in the second worst scoring defense. What's that tell you? They got a personnel problem. They, they, they don't have people. So when you have a defense, the GM and the coach are very good defensively. You have a nice running game, can't get people off the field. So that's a non-fixable problem to me. Dallas can fix most of its issues. Minnesota can't. That's why Cowboys are four on the panic meter. Minnesota's a seven. How about the New Orleans Saints? Four. Okay, Drew Brees doesn't throw the ball down the field. That is not ideal. But Michael Thomas could return this week. Top 10 scoring offense. Here's also always good news. The Lions, Chargers, Panthers, Bears coming up. So, again, (laughs) you go on the road for Monday Night Football. You got to face Aaron Rodgers. Everybody freaks out. But don't we believe that this is a playoff team? I think we still believe. and, 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 again, those aren't real problems. Real problems are... We can't get to the quarterback. We don't have we don't have good enough players. They got plenty of good players, and they're getting one of them back. What's your panic meter for the New York Jets? Uh, ten. There, there's nothing good. The coach doesn't get along with players. Sam Darnold's regressing. The schedule's brutal. The division's better than we thought, and there's just I don't see any hope. I mean, to me, if they lose to Den, I, I, I've already been told that the ownership group is calling representatives, like agents, for coaching lists. Uh, none of it works. And I'll go back to something I've said ad nauseum here. You've really got to be concerned when your quarterback guru, Ryan Tannehill, appears to be a better quarterback and more consistent since leaving Adam Gase. Outside of Peyton Manning, 
Not a lot of Adam Gase defenders at this point. Panic meter for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's something. It's more than Dallas or the Saints, but it's a six. They're a half game out of first. We know Carson Wentz. We saw last year as talent. I'll defend him. Again, cluster injuries. Jalen Rieger, the rookie receivers hurt. Alshon Jeffrey, Deshaun Jackson hurt. Dallas Goddard, the tight end is hurt. So I don't know what's wrong with their training facility and their medical staff. But once again, Carson doesn't have a ton to work with. I do think here's the panic part. Since Frank Reich took over the job with the Colts as head coach, slowly, slowly, Carson doesn't quite look like the same quarterback. And we know, looking at some of these young quarterbacks, coaching feels like about 75% of it. So I think there are there is panic there. I think there's real panic. But you paid him 150 million. You can't bail on it. No, you cannot. You can't bail when your house has a leak. You got You got to still got a mortgage. You got to sleep somewhere. So you got to figure it out. You can't run from every problem. You got to figure this out. It's no fun. But, you, but the good news is the division's terrible. I can't. In fact, I can't remember a division. I remember one year Seattle won a division at seven, eight and one. Se- was it seven and nine? Seven and nine. That's about the this. Yeah, they beat the Saints. Marshawn Lynch had that beast mode run, one of the all-time great runs. There you go. That's our uh, panic meter. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.